How you going, fellas? Uh, just a quick update again. So finally, I got the uh, white screen up. Took me a little while. So uh, quite a big difference between just shooting it off the plain wall or, um, you know, versus the uh, projector screen. This one here is 130-inch, 1.2 gain, 16 by 9 screen. Got it off uh, eBay, paid $205. If I was to say what the difference would have been, I would say from the wall to this, I would say probably about 50% better clarity. It's definitely got much more vibrant colors. Um, as you can see from my last video, there's nowhere near as much light bouncing off the walls as it was before, even the ceiling. So that border does contain a bit and also set us the screen. Now I'm playing this off uh, YouTube. So look at that, look at the detail on that. Now just so you know, like, like I've explained it to you, uh, you guys many, many times, um, this projector is really, really bright. So if you don't have a light controlled room, what I mean by that is if you're not gonna paint your walls black, and your ceiling's black. I'll show you my settings. I've got brightness on eight, contrast on six. And the brightness, oh, brightness mode, I've got it on eco mode. Only because it's just, it's just too, it's too much brightness. Now, I've already bought the screen. Now, I've done it for a reason. I wrapped my brain, I wasn't sure. I've read millions of reviews. White screens are the best, you know, get a white screen if you've got a light controlled room and no light coming in from the outside. Yeah, well, there's no light coming from there. There's no light coming from those doors. But what they don't tell you is that Optima, it's 3,800 lumens of light. I measured it, it's 1.77 meters from there to the screen at 130 inch. Now if you go to AVS forums, uh, they say projectors from 3,500 lumens should be at 150 to 170 inch. So it's just too close and too bright. The good news is like I've said a hundred times, you can keep it in eco mode, you get awesome picture quality and you get the bulb that lasts forever. But what I have decided to do is, I love the clarity. Clarity is fantastic. It's just the blacks. And the blacks is only because reflex off the walls and the white screen. It's too bright, even in eco mode. So tomorrow I am going to pick up a high contrast gray screen. I'll pull this one down. I'll show you a footage of what it looks like between the white and then again with the gray to let you know, is there a difference on spending $205 for a white, plain, traditional projector screen, spend $435 for a high contrast gray screen, and then I've got a $3,000 ALR top of the range pet crystal screen. Is it worth it? Is all that hype worth the shit that people keep talking about? Now let me show you the difference between this and putting it on the wall. So just bear with me. As I said, brand new to the channel, so haven't got no tripod yet. Just straight off my phone. I will get someone to give me a hand. There's your projector, just sitting there relaxing. So what we'll do is I'll tilt it. sit back. Hopefully the camera picks it up. Can you see the, the straight away the detail? It's easy 50%. If not almost double. See if I, I want to do is I'll get a close up. See if that gives you an idea. The phone really doesn't do its justice.
see how it's sort of washed out in the wall. There you go, you're gonna start seeing it now as the rocks start forming. There's a big difference. Now that's just, look at that. That's just my uh, Samsung, Samsung Note. So no professional camera. Like I said, I'm trying to keep it realistic. Look at that. Took me two seconds to go bam, straight back into the uh, middle of the screen. You know, people say, is there a zoom on it? Does this thing have zoom? Well, you got a lot of you got a lot of features on the thing that, it, that for some reason it just doesn't get told about. So here's your zoom. You go in. You go right in there. You know, there's a big zoom. All right, then you've got edge mask. So you can shut it in from the walls. At the moment, I've got it on keystone correction. You've got image shift. So image shift, if you're having a bit of trouble with the projector screen, you can start shifting it up. See the lines now on the bottom? I can move it all the way up. Same thing with the left. I can chuck it left. So there, is a, there, is a, there is quite a bit of movement and it isn't that hard. At the bottom of the projector, again, probably not, not, not people don't notice it, is... It's got three little uh, legs, right? One of them, you can actually extend it. So you can actually, so with these projectors, what happens is it projects quite high up, you know? And if you're like me, like I'm gonna go 150 inch, so I had to go right to the very ceiling to go all the way down. So the projector just wasn't high enough. It wasn't hitting the image up higher. So put a couple of stands on it or it's got a little knob on the bottom. You just unscrew it and it actually does. It gives it a bit of an angle going up and down. So it is quite easy. You want a bigger screen? Pull it back slightly. Is it cropped a bit? Turn it left or right. It's actually quite easy to use. Now, this is just playing off um, YouTube, just the internet. So again, quality is not, you know, perfect. But you can see the detail. Playing it off a uh, NVIDIA Shield. But yeah, really, really, really good. The noise you're hearing at the man that fan, that's actually, I've got a fan on that I'm blowing around the house because it's quite warm here. It's a 40 something degree day. But yeah, guys, if you have any questions, like I said, tomorrow I'll chuck up hopefully the uh, gray protector screen. Get that done up, give a comparison of that. Then my ALR one will come in, and then we'll see, is it worth the hype? All this talk, ALR's the best, blah, 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 blah. It all depends. Can you paint your walls? Are you renting? If you're renting, you ain't gonna paint your walls black. You definitely ain't painting your ceiling black. You know, so they're things to keep in mind. So I wanna see if I... High contrast screen's gonna work. If it doesn't, all right, we'll try the ALR, but at least you guys are gonna know, when you buy this projector, pitch clarity is fantastic. Only difference is it's bright, gotta go on eco mode, and if you want nice blacks, the screen's gotta be darker. How dark? I don't know yet. No one's done a review on it, so I'm doing one. I'll do high contrast gray, then ALR. And then just after this, I'll chuck some gaming on it so you can see 120 hertz, how fast it is, no input lag. Anyway, boy, 
Have a good one. Message me, subscribe if you like my channel and want me to do some more reviews just to heat me, uh, help me keep going because I'm not sponsored. I'm just uh, doing this just to help everyone else out because, you know, I'm like you, been waiting around for ages and I'd like to know what's real and what's not. So yeah, give us a thumbs up or let me know in the descriptions anything I can do to improve or any questions you need asking. Thanks guys for your support. Have a great one.